Tonight, police say he is the leader of a cross-country crime ring targeting people with a friendly knock at the door. Yeah, now he could finally be closer to facing justice thanks to a small town police force and a Houston woman who helped crack the case wide open. KHU 11 anchor Marcelina Benito has been working this story for months now. He and photojournalist Cesar Nunez have the exclusive story that stretched from Texas all the way to Pennsylvania. We've all heard it, an unsuspecting knock on the door, but this one changed everything for Houston's Kelly Raybon. The knock came quickly, boom, 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 boom. The man at her door wanted to trim trees on behalf of a back neighbor. Did you him? Her nanny let him in to take a look out back. He had a standing right here. Nothing seemed odd. He was a fast talker and he just kept us occupied. It was only five minutes, just five minutes until the very next bang. <laughs> Kelly looked at her cameras and saw the painful reality. While she was in the backyard, another man had walked right into her home minutes later, seen walking out with something large wrapped in her blanket. In those few seconds, my stomach was sinking, my heart was dropping and my pulse was racing because I knew where that blanket had come from. She raced upstairs, her closet a mess, her safe gone. Inside, more than $120,000 worth of cash, jewelry, and priceless personal items. I probably will never get anything back that I lost that day, but what I can do is fight back. She took to social media. Today, I got robbed. Sharing the raw truth about what happened to her. Her post went viral. You have to listen to your gut, and my gut said this is much bigger than just myself. And turns out she was right. The tips and the comments and the leads started flowing almost faster than I could keep up with. All of a sudden, her inbox flooded with stories from other victims, 15 to 18 in Texas alone. They sent her surveillance videos showing the same guy pulling the same tree trimming ruse while another man breaks into the house. In this video, just feet away from an unsuspecting homeowner. These guys were so smooth. They were so slick. This operation was so well oiled. There's no way that I was the only victim. The influencer turned sleuth, started connecting the dots and shared what she learned with police. I created a spreadsheet full of victims and case numbers and contact information and the departments that they were working with and their addresses, what was stolen. A month after the knock on her door, a major break, not in Houston, but 1,300 miles away outside Pittsburgh. Our reporting brought us to Penn Township, Pennsylvania. We rode along as Chief John Otto showed us where an alarm was triggered at Hamill Manufacturing. This pickup truck spotted leaving the scene with $120,000 worth of stolen military grade metal in the back. Officer Doug Lewis pulled them over. We could tell they were very nervous. In the middle of that traffic stop, this 911 call came in. There's a guy with a gun. You said the speedway? Yes, there's a guy with a gun. And he had to tell, and he said he, that he was going to shoot the gun. That 911 phone call is being made by the suspects. The point of the 911 call was intended to divert resources from the area where the theft of metals was taking place and divert them to a fictitious crime three miles down the road. The ruse didn't work. And that officer wasn't really buying what they were selling. Fingerprints later helped ID the men in the car as Bobby Lucci, Anthony Miguel, and Marcelo Miguel. The criminal histories, very lengthy in nature. And at that point in time, the guys looked at one another and said, this is a good case. This is a big case. We're going to solve some things here tonight. But it's Lucci that has law enforcement across the country, including HPD, calling Penn Township. Sources tell us Lucci is the same man seen breaking into Kelly Raybon's home. As soon as I saw his face, I knew that was him. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Police gave KHOU 11 exclusive access to evidence recovered during the arrest in Pennsylvania. Work gloves, vests, hats, tools, a two-way radio, and even stolen women's jewelry three guys with women's jewelry inside the car. The red flags just keep popping up 
all of it, police say, linking Lucci and his associates to distraction-style burglaries in southeast Texas and all over the U.S. Bobby Lucci is the number one ringleader, operationally. Who he reports to, um, we don't know yet. What's clear is this crime ring moves. Uh, they refer to themselves as Romanian gypsies. Lucci, police say, is tied to crimes in New Jersey, New Hampshire, Connecticut, Texas, Florida, North Carolina, Ohio, California, Kansas, and just last year, he was arrested in West Virginia for metal theft, but disappeared after he was released on bond. My biggest fear right now is that he's granted a bond and he bounces just like he has before. That's why Penn Township didn't take any chances. Lucci deemed a flight risk and has been sitting in custody facing multiple local charges. We did our part to tie up these things and get three very bad people off the street. Back home in Houston. I'm amazed that we've been able to get this far. Raybon says there's still more work to do. The man who knocked on her door and started it all still out there. I'd just say we're coming for you and we're not gonna stop until we've got you locked up for good. Early this morning, Lucci had another hearing before a judge in Pennsylvania, and again, he was denied bond, and that comes as a huge relief for Kelly. Uh, I wonder, Marcelino, was any of Kelly's stolen property found? Well, letting Mia unfortunately know the jewelry found in that truck has only been traced back to a case in Connecticut, but this remains still a very active investigation. So she's still waiting. She's still waiting. So what is next with this case, Marcelino? Well, guys, multiple agencies want to get their hands on Lucci. They filed warrants, including HPD, but he's wanted across so many states, this could very well end up being a federal case. Yeah, heavily involved. Thanks for staying on top of it, Marcelino. Yeah.